Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, today I wanted to talk about things that expats basically get wrong, things that annoy Dutch people, things that we don't know how to do properly, things that we just keep stuffing up, essentially. So I have made all of these mistakes. I am guilty. I am an annoying expat. <coughs> And I wanted to share my experiences and I wanted to share how to basically not make Dutch people angry. So without anything further, let's get into the video. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that most English speaking cultures have a greeting of asking people, how are you? How are you? How are you today? It kind of isn't an, a genuine question. It's more of a replacement for hello. And I know that this makes Dutch people annoyed. I am guilty of doing this. Australians do it all the time. You basically ask how someone is and it's just a part of greeting someone. Whereas in the Netherlands, there are no questions that don't have answers. So if you ask someone this question, be prepared for an honest answer because they just don't have that in their culture. Every question has a purpose and every question is asked to people when they genuinely want to know their answer. I know that this irritates a lot of Dutch people when you hear this, how are you? But then no one's really actually listening to your answer. It is quite rude, actually, if you've got those two different kinds of cultures coming together, there can be a lot of miscommunication. I have kind of got out of the habit of saying it while I was living in the Netherlands, but now that we're back in Australia, I guess I'm just picking up old habits and I have been saying it again. So if you are in the Netherlands, do not ask people how they are unless you want to know the answer. Now this next one is something that I do anyway, I think maybe just as an Australian. So maybe this goes for other expats, but I've heard a lot of Dutch people saying that expats or maybe those that just live in Amsterdam are not very friendly. They don't greet people on the street. They don't greet people who live in their building and it doesn't really make for much of a, a sense of community. I know here in Australia, like if you're out walking your dog or you're out walking to the supermarket or whatever it is like you basically greet everyone along the way even on roads in the middle of nowhere you do a thing called a driver's wave so you just lift up the top of your fingers while it's on the steering wheel and that's like a communication to say like hey we're both in the middle of nowhere you're the first car i've seen in over two hours so how's it going so i think this kind of sense of community we do actually have that in Australia, I would never leave my building and see other people also on their way to the shops or on the way to the supermarket or, you know, pulling up on their bike and not greet them. I find that super, super strange or, you know, helping people bring up their groceries. We lived at the top of some really steep stairs. So it just kind of felt normal to do those things, especially if you've been living in the same area for a really long time you recognize faces, you start recognizing the people that work at the supermarket and you know, you start recognizing the delivery guy that comes to your street. So I love encouraging that sense of community. So I'm a really big one for this, but if you're an ex expat and you come from a community or a country where that is not really normal, do make the effort. That's how it is in the Netherlands. If you are cycling, you give everyone a bit of a wave or if you're in the building, just say hello. So this next one I want to talk about because obviously it's a big one that I believe in, but essentially when expats don't really make much of an effort to learn the language, I myself find this really rude. I know that not everyone should be expected to be fluent. Um, that's kind of not where this one's going. But if you haven't made the effort at all to try and learn how to order a coffee or how to, you know, buy or ask for fruit at the market, then I don't really know. Are you making the most of your situation of living in another country? I really feel like it is quite rude and standoffish 
if you're not making the effort to try and learn the language that you're surrounded by. And these people have welcomed you into their country and essentially you've accepted that. So it only makes sense to try and learn a little bit of the language, in my opinion. Okay, this next one is important. Bike lanes. Bike lanes are for bikes and footpaths are for feet. Don't get the two mixed up. They are very clearly marked. There's pictures of bikes in the bike lane and there's usually pictures of people in the walking lane. So stick to it. I know as an expat, it is difficult to get your head around at first, but essentially you've got trams, then cars, then bikes, then people. So that's how basically all of the streets work and just be aware. You'll get used to having to cross multiple layers of traffic to try and get where you're going, but the bike path is not for standing in. It is not for taking photos in. It is not for anything except for being on your bike and trying to get where you need to go. This is probably a really big one for Amsterdam and tourists. There's nothing more frustrating than cycling on your way to work and having to dodge multiple clueless tourists or maybe fresh expats that haven't quite got it yet that bike lanes are for biking. Watch out and do not annoy Dutch people by standing in a bike lane. Another follow on from using the bike lane is tell people where you're going, be polite. There are kind of some unspoken bike rules. You stick your hand out to tell people behind you where you're going. You stick your other hand out if you're trying to overtake someone, head checks, all of those things are super, super important to make sure that the flow of traffic keeps moving and going around also in a bike lane this is not just strictly related to cars when you've made a decision about going stick to it people rely on you kind of making that decision and following through with it so don't feel like you're going to go and then pull out at the last minute you'll stop the flow of everything and you may cause an accident so stick to a decision commit use your hands and your signals and head checks and just be aware of other bikes and other people around you so this next one is a big one too and i know i get a lot of this in my comments but i do speak about my experience of living in amsterdam but yes amsterdam is not the netherlands i'm aware of this I know that this is true and this is a sure way to annoy Dutch people. I have so many friends and family that will say, oh, when are you moving back to Amsterdam? When they actually are referencing Amsterdam as the whole country rather than saying, when are you guys moving back to the Netherlands? So this is a really sure way to annoy Dutch people. Amsterdam is not the Netherlands. Amsterdam is the capital city and usually the place where most people have visited or gone on holidays. Well, their friends and family have usually visited there and gone on holidays. So do understand that there are multiple mini cultures and mini languages and dialects that exist within the Netherlands. Amsterdam is but a drop in the ocean. So this next one I also learned from my channel. It was in one of my videos where I was talking about different versions of Christmas and Gerst and Sinterklaas. Christmas and Sinterklaas are not the same holiday, so much so that they're not even comparable. I still kind of struggle with this one. They are very similar holidays. I also understand that there's massive, massive differences. They're celebrated on completely different dates and they stem from a very similar character in history that's been changed and, and all of this stuff. Do not annoy the Dutch people by assuming that Christmas is Santa Claus. This is a massive, massive no-no. Don't do it. They're separate holidays. The Dutch also celebrate Eerst which is more comparable to the English culture of celebrating Christmas. Kerst is celebrated on the 25th of December, whereas Sinterklaas is not celebrated on this date and therefore a completely separate holiday. This was just a really quick list, guys. I hope that you take some of these tips and make sure not to annoy those Dutch people. Appreciate where you're living. The Netherlands is a beautiful, beautiful country. The language is awesome. It will completely change your experience if you take the time to learn it. Don't stand in a bike lane 
and for the rest just enjoy being in the Netherlands. Until next time guys I'll see you in the next video. Bye!